What is weather? The definition we're going to use says that weather is the condition of the atmosphere at a certain time and place. Now you'll notice time and place are italicized because when we're talking about weather, we are indicating that it really all depends on the time of day and the place that you're talking about, which tells us that weather changes constantly. What one place is having as weather could be very different for another place. Here's an example. Here's a weather forecast. And we see that on one day, it's 71 degrees, and then that night, it changes to 46 degrees. That's a 30 degree drop in temperature. And that's what we mean when we say weather. We're talking about what the atmosphere is doing at a particular time, and it changes constantly. One of the aspects of weather we're going to look at is humidity, which just means how much water vapor is in the air. You've probably experienced this in the summer here in Georgia when we have those very humid days when there is a lot of water vapor in the air. This chart sums up humidity. What we see on the left, the y-axis, is the amount of water vapor. Along the bottom, or the x-axis, is the temperature. And the blue line going up is telling us that as the temperature increases, so does the amount of water vapor. Therefore, warmer temperatures hold more moisture. This is what we just saw in the graph. As the temperature of the air increases, the air's ability to hold water increases as well. Basically, again, that just means that warmer temperatures hold more water. So why does this make sense? Well, it makes sense when you think about what the molecules are doing. When the temperature increases, the molecules spread apart. This makes more room in the air for more water vapor. Another aspect meteorologists use in forecasting the weather is relative humidity. Now, relative humidity is, like its name says, it's relative to the temperature. So it is how much water vapor is in the air compared to how much the air can hold at a certain temperature. When reporting on relative humidity, it is always given as a percent. And when the air is holding all the water it can at a certain temperature, we said that the air is saturated. That just means that it's full. So in that case, the air would have a relative humidity of 100%. If you think of it like a sponge, it makes sense. When a sponge is full of water, it can't hold anymore, no matter how much more you try to pour in it. It's going to overflow. And that's what happens with the atmosphere. Once the air is full and can't hold anymore, then it's going to release as precipitation. The temperature that that happens is called the dew point. So the dew point is the temperature at which a gas condenses into a liquid. The air is saturated when it reaches its dew point. 